hyperbole. Hyperbole, as pronounced by Julia Gillard. Extreme exaggeration. Have a listen to Kamala Harris getting very excited or not about Christmas. Oh. And when we all sing happy tunes and sing Merry Christmas and wish each other Merry Christmas, these children are not going to have a Merry Christmas. How dare we speak Merry Christmas? How dare we? How dare we speak Merry Christmas? Rita James, what is she? She is, How dare we speak Merry Christmas, Christmas with her face? That should be in the an run -up ad to for the Republicans. Absolutely. That's the real Kamala right there. This notion that she is a moderate, she's a centrist, her voting record as a senator, the most radically left of any senator, and Every position she has championed over the last decade, at least, has been like that. Rita, Rita, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, I know she was doing her whole Greta Thunberg impersonation there with the how dare you. Okay. Well, let's not first. forget. Let's not forget this, Rita. She's also kind of dim. Have a look at her here talking about what she would do about inflation. <laughs> uh, prices have gone up, and families and individuals are dealing with the realities of, of the, that bread costs more, that gas costs more. And we have to understand what that means. That's about the cost of living going up. That's about having to stress and stretch limited resources. Okay, like I, I lost about 10 <laughs> IQ points just trying to get through that. And Trump today at the uh, Georgia rally spoke about just how radically left he, uh, she is. So he's finally focusing on her record, which I think is going to be a very well, positive move. Because before, the media's not doing it. Before we play the Trump clip, um, James, that... Uh, I mean, we laugh about that inflation clip, but yeah. that is serious. I mean, she's well, so, so this clueless is the thing, you about... know, and, and it's like, and there's so... Because here's the thing. Everybody is now going and looking for things she has said in the past because she's not saying anything new now. So yeah. all of these clips here, she really comes off as just being so not across any of the stuff that she's supposed to talk about. And she's just grasping for words. She's like Bart Simpson trying to give a book report and he hasn't <laughs> read the book. So it's like, oh, well, um, yeah, well, look, so prices I prefer have gone that up. Version, and, you know, yeah. I prefer that version, the inept, clueless uh, version, than when she actually speaks with passion like yeah, she did with that yeah, Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Because hydrogen. you know what she has backed, the but policies now we've she's got, backed. Uh, we've, we've, got that we've got Trump the Trump clip. Trump clip. Let's have a look. Kamala's radical ideas belong in a San Francisco commune filled with far-left freaks, but they do not belong in the White House. They do not belong in the United States of America. <laughs> this November, Georgia is going to tell Kamala that we will not let her turn America into a communist country. Well, there That's, you go. There you and she's a San Francisco liberal. I mean, and, and f trust me, in America, those words mean something. But what? 